Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janae. I run a blog called Hi Lil Lux and I love luxury beauty, fashion, and travel. And today I am sharing my best and worst luxury shoe purchases. So on the last video, sorry, I'm a little hyped. I just had a ripple. <laughs> Um, so on the last video, my lookbook, I got a lot of questions about like my favorite summer sandals, what shoes I was wearing throughout the video. So I figured this would be helpful because you can kind of see what shoes have the best cost per wear. I've gotten my money's worth and then you can also see the shoes that maybe I regret buying or I just don't wear them as much as I thought I would. So without any more rambling, oh, before we jump into the video, um, let me talk about what I'm wearing. So this is an old dress from Zara. It may be in the sale, so I'll try to link it below if it is. My jewelry is Masoma. This will be in an upcoming video because I'm showing some other pieces too, but that's what this is. My lip is a Fenty Beauty lipstick. I'll put the name right here. Venom. Candy Venom. Candy Venom. It's super cute. I think that's everything. And I'm not wearing any shoes, so <laughs> nothing to show you there. Um, okay, so without any more rambling, let's get into the video. Okay, first up, we'll start with my newest purchase, which are the... Oh, hold on. <laughs> which are the V logo sandals by Valentino um, with the like clear little part in the front and the new logo on the front. I love, love, love these. Um, I picked these up a few, probably like a month ago at this point. Um, it was, these were gifted from Farfetch when I did a video with them. But I knew I wanted these, I, I wanted them last summer in like a tan, they just had like a regular tan. But I didn't pick them up and then this summer when I got my Loewe puzzle bag, I didn't have any shoes to match it. So I was like, oh, these would be perfect in that tan color. So I went on Farfetch looking for the tan and then I was just scrolling and I saw the clear. And I thought, well, that's even better because when you have them on, you can still see the tan bit, um, but this just makes them go with everything. So got this pair, they are true to size. I have a 38. They are stiff when you get them. So keep that in mind. I wore mine around the house the first day and now they're like super flexible and comfy. I mean, obviously it's still a hard surface, so they're not like walking shoes, but um, they are pretty comfortable now. So just keep that in mind. They'll need a little breaking in, but they literally go with everything. I've probably worn them every weekend since I've gotten them. Um, and I'll link all of the variations because it really just depends on your style. Um, but for me, I love gold in the summer. And then I just love the option of having the clear and I can literally wear them with any color. So love that. Next up, I will share my oldest favorite, which are the Gucci Aces. I talk about these all the time. Um, just a classic white sneaker in general is great to have in the summer. I've had these for about three years. They have aged really well. They still look pretty new, especially when I put them on. They're super comfy, like literally the comfiest pair of shoes maybe I own second to my dad sandals, <laughs> um, but they're so comfy. I wore these walking around Paris like literally all day long. I wore them with like cute little dresses and they're just perfect. They're just perfect. They're like a little edgy. Mine have the pearl on them and the spikes in the back. So, but there's so many variations. If you like want something extra or you want something a little more toned down, I feel like they have everything and they're comfortable. Yeah. And I clean these with a magic eraser. So any like little stuffs, so I can easily get them off. Um, so yeah, I feel like for three years, these look pretty good and I wear these, like I wear these. Um, I don't wear socks with these. So I have a 37 and a half. So you could probably size down a half size, depending on if you wear socks or not. I'm typically a seven and a half or a 38 um, in like summer shoes and then boots, I usually would do a 38 and a half. So that's these. Um, and again, they'll be linked below. And I'll try to put the prices up on the screen too, just so you know. Okay, next up is the only heel in the bunch. And they are these little sandals from Gia times Perneal Tesbach. I think that's a German name maybe. Um, but these are amazing. They are super, super, super comfortable. The leather, when I tell you, it is plush. It is plush. Like, they're so soft. The heel, I mean, it's like three inches, so not bad. They run true to size. I have a 38 in mine. And this is also Velcro, so you can tighten it, which is good if you have narrow feet like I do. Like, I had to tighten these a lot so that my foot <laughs> didn't slide out. Um, so just an FYI, but it's great because if you have wider feet, you can loosen it. Narrow feet, you can tighten it. Um, they have a square toe, but it's, like, just enough. So, like, you feel like you're on trend, but I feel like these will last forever. They come in a bunch of colors. I really love the chocolate brown but I'm chocolate brown, so I felt like they would disappear on my foot. So I opted for this color, which is great because it's just a neutral 
and it goes with everything, which you know I love. The link is below in all of the colors. I know they come in like a stark white. They come in like a camel, a tan, this color, and then a chocolate brown. I think that's it. I don't think they come in black, but I will link all of the colors below. Okay. Next up, I couldn't have a video of my favorites and not include my Chanel dad sandals, of course. Now, these are still controversial and people still are like, either you hate them or you love them. But I knew with most of my luxury shoe purchases, I knew that these were going to make an impact in my wardrobe. I knew that they were gonna be like a go-to easy piece that like I didn't have to think too much about. And they are just that. Um, I wear these probably every other day. Like I just slide them on if I wanna go check the mail, if I wanna run to the store, if I wanna go to the post office. They are so comfortable. I love the style specifically that I got, of course. Um, but you know, if you saw my 2020 wish list, these were on there in this specific colorway. I love the quilting on this. I feel like it just makes it classic and I feel like they will never go out of style. Like, of course they won't be as current or trendy, but I feel like I can always put these on in a few years and they look like a Chanel classic. Like they will, I feel like they'll just age so well and they'll just look like how my vintage bags look. That's what these will look like. They have the gold hardware, which is just what I like. And they're just they're perfect these to me run big um I, it just depends probably on like the shape of your toe like i have narrow feet i have short toes so for me i got a 37 just 37 not even 37 and a half and they fit great um and again these also have velcro so you can loosen them or tighten them um and i tried on i think i tried on a 38 and a 37 and a half i found these in store i know they're very hard to find now um, I found mine in store in LA. I'll link my LA vlog below if you want to see that. Um, in a sex, I think. Yeah, and I tried them all on and they all looked huge except for this size. Um, I think if you want to find them now, you should. your best bet would be to go through a personal shopper because they are still releasing them and especially in a bunch of different colors. Um, so there's a lot of personal shoppers on Instagram. Just make sure like they have references or you can talk to people that have bought from them before. Um, but that's probably the easiest way to find them. I, also, they I have seen a few on Vestier Collective. So I'll look there and see if I can find any. But those, they were everything I knew they would be, which is the best thing. Okay, and then lastly for the best is going to be my Prada boots, the Monolith boots i know they're this isn't the season for them but i'm just including all shoes and this as far as cost per wear and just again like the chanel shoes doing everything i knew they would do <laughs> i have i'm so proud of them i'm so proud of them i saw these i'll tell you a little backstory i saw these in paris i went to paris for fashion week last year with a bunch of my friends and i tried these on i had i already knew they had just come out and i saw them and i knew I wanted them I knew um so I went in the Prada store I tried them on and it's just one of those things where it's like the first time you're seeing something in per person and it's like it just seems so left field like this is like a chunky combat boot I've never I mean I guess in like middle school maybe I wore something like that but it's been a long time I don't have anything like this like Janae are you about to drop a thousand dollars on a pair of combat boots girl is that what you're about to do um so I, I mean i walked around the store and i went back and forth and everybody i was with were kind of like oh that's different <laughs> so not that that matters to me um but it was just like this is the first time i've seen them this is the first time i'm trying them on and i just was like okay i'm not i'm not quite ready but after i left that store i could not stop thinking about it and that's how i know that's how i know and then so i was I bought a dupe while we were there. I found a dupe on ASOS and I was like, at least let me try a dupe, which is what I usually try to do before I make a big purchase. I'll try a dupe of something just to see like how it works in my lifestyle, see if I wear it a lot, just see if it like goes the way I think it's gonna go. Um, so I bought a dupe from ASOS and I bought it in pairs <laughs> um, and like half them shipped to my house. So when I got home, they were here, I put them on and I was like, okay, I like the style, but I didn't wear them because it was like, if you've tried on these or touched these or seen these, this leather is plush. It's supple. It's just, and when I put on the ASOS ones, they gave the look, but it just wasn't, it couldn't compare. It couldn't, and I couldn't. 
And I was like, I'm buying those shoes right now. I got right on Nordstrom.com and I purchased. And when I was purchasing, when I tell you, I was like sweating bullets because as I was like checking out, they were selling out. <laughs> Um, I looked on a couple of different sites and my size was already sold out so that I went to Nordstrom. I found them and they were like, you know, they have the little thing. I don't know if it's a gimmick, like two left, one left. I was like, <sighs> I was, it was stressful, but I got them and I wore them. Literally, I got comments on Instagram like, I wear these shoes too much. And I'm like, <laughs> they cost me a whole lot of money. I'm going to wear them as much as I want. Um, and I'm excited because I wore them in the spring with like dresses and skirts and I'm just as excited as I was last year to wear them this upcoming fall. So for me, cost per wear, at this point they're probably like $10 because I wore them so much. So those are my favorites. Now let's move on to the worst purchases. <sighs> Sad times. Sad times. Okay, first up for worst purchases. Ugh this is gonna kill me are these Balenciaga heels if you watch um my LA vlog of course that'll be linked below I highly recommend I really enjoy that vlog <laughs> like I've watched it before with myself just because there's a lot of shopping um and I like shopping <laughs> but I went to the Balenciaga outlet in that vlog and I found so many things uh, but this was one of them now these are on the worst not because I don't like them because I adore them I hope you can see how they sparkle but uh, that was in February and we've been in quarantine <laughs> since then um I've worn these in a couple of shoots I pop up a picture actually I wore them with this dress <laughs> with this dress um and heels for um like a campaign that I did and they're stunning they're comfortable actually I wore them I actually have worn them once outside right before lockdown started um I had a speaking engagement and I wore them and they were great because they're comfortable, but they made a statement and it was like special. And that's why I got them. I wanted a special little shoe, but I just haven't gotten any wear out of them. Um, and they're not as easy to throw on as I thought they would be. Like I have, I have a few like special type of shoes, um, like a pair of Manolo Blahniks, like that are just special, but they're also like easy to wear where I can just like throw them on with jeans. And I've tried that with these a few times. And I never love it. Like I always like something else more. So for me that puts it in the worst category because it's just like that's how I like that's my goal when I buy things especially luxury things. It's like I think through cost per wear and like how is this going to fit into my lifestyle and how am I going to be able to wear this. And that's what I was expecting from these when I bought them. That was my thought process and it's just not working out like I planned. They're not doing what I needed them to do. But they're still special like I'm not gonna get rid of these because they will come in handy for an event when that time comes but I just don't tend to buy things for like special occasions but I know you know they'll come in handy for something so I'm gonna hold on to them um, if you're wondering I got a 37 and a half um, and they fit great um, I tried a 38 and it was too big so just an FYI for these and I got them at the outlet for a hell of a deal uh, I think they were $300 it was like crazy. The day I went, obviously it's an outlet store, so everything's on sale, but they were also doing like the 30% off of everything. Almost lost my mind. Watch that video if you haven't. Um, so that is the first. Um, next is, I talked about these in my closet clean out video. These are the YSL, I don't know what they're called. Maybe they're like the tribute pump, but the flat version. A few reasons. This is, this is completely my fault. Um, one, these are just too small. They look brand new still uh, because I think I wore them one time maybe to take a picture in. Um, they're too small, not lengthwise, but they're very narrow and I have narrow feet. So when I bought them, they fit fine. But like, I don't know if this is everybody, but like throughout the day, if I'm walking a lot, like my feet swell <laughs> and I just can't. <laughs> I can't with these. Um, they're 37 and a half. So as you can see, like, that's what I typically wear. But yeah, these just don't. Also, um, the other thing is that I'm not a silver person, especially in the summertime. I wear more gray in the fall, but for summer, I always wear gold. So I don't know. Like this, I got a deal. So I was just hyped up on the deal. So that was my mistake. Um, I think I found these at TJ Maxx. <sighs> I can't remember how much they were. Um maybe like four or something, 500. Um, so I was just excited that I found them. They were my size, but I really didn't think through. That was one of the times I didn't think through like 
how I'm going to wear them, what I'm going to wear them with, because I just have shoes I like better. Um, and again, if I'm wearing, if I'm wearing gold jewelry, I don't know, something about, it just, it's hard for me to wear these. So, um, these I am selling and they're so cute. I wanted these for so long, but I feel like you need, I feel like these, you have to like go up a whole size. Like I would need a 38 and a half for these. So those are on the worst. Next up for worst purchases. This also makes me sad. They all make me sad. <laughs> is my Cecile Bonson, Cecily Bonson dad sandals. And this again comes down to cost per wear. I still love them. I think they're so pretty. I just have to think a little harder than I would like to <laughs> as far as what they go with and how I style them. So just an FYI, I, I, this was, it wasn't an impulse purchase, but they were selling out when I bought them. So <laughs> maybe an impulse, maybe too impulsive. Um, the next worst purchase also hurts and this was a definite impulse purchase are my second pair of Louis Vuitton arch lights now I still love this shoe and I love the other pair but I have this thing it also maybe the Sagittarius in me um I get very obsessive over things like when I like something I like it I, it doesn't matter what it is if it's food I might eat the same thing like every week for a month or two months um if it's a place like I might go there a lot I just have a very like obsessive personality so when I got my I have the uh, monogram ones just the plain monogram and white and when I got those I was just loving them so much so hard <laughs> that I was like I have to get another pair because I just need options I like options <laughs> So when I went to, I went to New York for an event, I can't remember, and I stopped at Saks and they just had so many, because also these were like really hard to find when they first came out. They just had so many that I was like, I can't resist. I have to buy them while I'm here because they're all just right here. Um, and I knew I wanted the neon. I think I had this in my 2019 luxury wish list, like this specific colorway. I just thought it was so cool. But again, it's one of those questions where it's like, I'm not sure who I thought I was because we both know, all of us, that I like neutrals. Um, but I thought this would be like an easy, fun pop of color. I don't wear navy that much. Um, I don't wear neon that much. Um, they still go with a lot though. Like I can just throw these on. I mainly wear them with white and they go fine. Um, but it's more for me about just having two. <laughs> so I'm selling one of them kind of like which everyone sells first because I like them both equally I just chose to share this one because it's the newest pair um but I don't think I need I just I didn't need to pair I didn't need to pair I don't know why I'm like this but I didn't need to pair one pair is enough because I love this so I just think this is again will be one of those like cool vintage things at some point where it's like this LV sneaker that was like I don't know looks like you're gonna go walk on the moon <laughs> Uh, I just don't need to. So that's why this is in the worst. We have made it to the end. Of course, if you stuck around this long, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. Follow me on Instagram at HiloLux through my blog, HiloLux.com. Of course, follow me on TikTok for daily outfit inspiration. I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.